how to be consistent with formatting in Excel. So when we talk about formatting, we should avoid using dark colors that put strain on our eyes. Instead, use soothing colors. So for example, in this workbook, I have used some very bright colors. So this should be avoided. And when we talk about consistency, we have few options in Excel. The first option is to use Format Painter. So let's say I apply some formatting here using some soothing colors. Now I want to apply the same format in all the sheets. What I can do is I can select any of these cells, double click on the Format Painter and go to all the sheets one by one and paste the format there. Let me also do it for this range. So this is bit time consuming task. Once you are done, you can press escape key to get rid of this format painter or you can also click here once again to release the format painter, right? So now all the sheets have the same format. It is consistent, right? But let's say I want to change the color now. I want to change it to something else, maybe light blue. Again, I have to double click on the format painter and go to all the sheets and repeat the same process right so you can see that every time I want to change the colors it will take same amount of time every time now press escape key right so this is not very efficient another option we have is using cell styles let me show you how to do that it is in home tab in the styles group here we have various predefined cell styles categorized according to good, bad, neutral, data model and so on. So let's say I want to apply this cell style 20% accent 5 on all the cells in all the sheets, on all the headings in all the sheets. I will go in each sheet and apply the same format, same cell style I would say. It is already selected and let's apply 20% and here also. 20%. So we have applied same cell style in all the sheets. It is consistent. Let us also do it for this range. Right. So let's say now I want to change the color. What I can do is I can modify the cell style. Right. Right click on the cell style that you applied. Click on modify and go to format. Here you can change the color from fill tab to something like maybe this one and I can also change the font color or font style. I can make any changes. You can change the alignment border and so on. Right now click OK and click OK once again. And you can see that the color and font has changed everywhere. So now it is very quick and time saving technique. Another thing about cell styles is that it changes with the change in the theme. For theme you can go to page layout and here we have themes group. Basically a theme contains all these settings, colors, fonts and effects. Effects are for graphics like charts, right? So once you change the theme it changes everything. You can see that the color has changed, right? If I go to cell styles, the colors have changed. Fonts have also changed. So themes change everything. You can use any theme of your choice or maybe based on the brand of your company you can apply the theme and it will change the colors everywhere colors and fonts everywhere right so theme applies on the entire workbook i will switch back to office theme let's say i want to apply some style to the first row of every sheet i can press ctrl 1 So now I want to apply this style to first row of every sheet but this style is not available in cell styles. So I can also use format painter but that is going to take more time in case I wish to change the style later so it will be more time consuming every time right I make some changes. So what I can do is I can create my own cell style from this style okay now select this cell. Arrange, go to cell styles 
and here we have the option to create a new cell style click here give it a name like top row you can give it any name and I have selected all these options by default you can uncheck these options so that that style is not applicable here right for example we don't have any borders so I can uncheck this it means that if this range or any range where I am going to apply this new style if it already has borders the borders will remain intact because I have unchecked this option so borders will not be affected right if you want to remove those borders check this option so there will not be any borders where we apply this style okay now click OK now the style has been created you can see it here at the top under the new group that is called custom right so what I can do is I can go to each sheet select the range and apply this new style okay I can also press F4 to repeat the last action so we are done now let's say I wish to change the formatting or maybe the cell style right click here click on modify I want to change the colors click on format Now why it has not changed while others have changed? The reason is that we did not apply the same cell style here. We used it to create our new cell style. But we did not apply that style here in this range. Right? Now apply it here and we are done. Okay. So this is a very quick way in case you wish to change something later. And it also maintains consistency of course. Now if I create a new file here that cell style is not available that we just created what we can do is we can copy the cell style from one workbook to the other for that the other workbook should be opened already here we have styles so here in the new workbook we can click on cell styles and merge styles click on this option and select the workbook from where you want to copy the style in this case it is formatting now click OK and click on yes we have that same style here as well right so this is how you can copy cell styles from one workbook to the other if you want to be even more efficient with this go with VBA let me show you an example <clears throat> so here I have created my own color palette that I want to use for these colors in all the sheets sorry so let's see how to use this I want to apply this pink color everywhere now I have selected this cell with the pink color and clicked on this button and we are done it cannot be quicker than this select any other color click on this brush and we are done this can be the fastest way I think right and you can write a macro to customize these colors to any extent I wish to add another color let's say if I go to more colors here you can create your custom color that is not already there in the palette mm, okay let's go with this color right this is unique color now click here click on the brush and you're done this is so quick so this is how you can be consistent with formatting in Excel if you found this video useful please like and share it and also subscribe to my youtube channel for more such useful videos thanks for watching